You change should dissipate. Okay. Buckle up. Flame. Hmm. So in this video, he's talking about the propellants in sprays like Pam. So the one that he's spraying onto the flame uses butane as a propellant. Now, of course, butane is flammable. So if you spray it directly onto a flame, that's what's going to happen. However, this is not a representation of how you're consuming this product unless you're literally spraying it into your mouth, which I don't recommend. So typically you're spraying this on a cooking surface and then heating up that cooking surface. So that propellant is going to dissipate when you're heating up that pan, when you're cooking your food. The points of these propellants are very low. So at room temperature, they're going to be gases. So for isobutane, the boiling point is negative 11.7 degrees Celsius. So even before you heat it up, it is going to dissipate into the air because it is a gas at room temperature. Of course, it dissipates even more once you heat it up. Potential residues in foods have also been assessed and the European Commission's Scientific Committee on Food has concluded that there are no toxicological concerns when these are used for frying or baking. Again, just don't spray them directly into your mouth.